Evening, April 30th. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God. Psalm 139, verse 17. Divine omniscience affords no comfort to the ungodly mind, but to the child of God it overflows with consolation. God is always thinking upon us, never turns aside his mind from us, has us always before his eyes, and this is precisely as we would have it, for it would be dreadful to exist for a moment beyond the observation of our Heavenly Father. His thoughts are always tender, loving, wise, prudent, far-reaching, and they bring to us countless benefits. Hence it is a choice delight to remember them. The Lord always did think upon his people, hence their election and the covenant of grace by which their salvation is secured. He always will think upon them, hence their final perseverance by which they shall be brought safely to their final rest. In all our wanderings, the watchful glance of the eternal watcher is ever more fixed upon us. We never roam beyond the shepherd's eye. In our sorrows, he observes us incessantly, and not a pang escapes him. In our toils, he marks all our weariness, and writes in his book all the struggles of his faithful ones. These thoughts of the Lord encompass us in all our paths and penetrate the innermost region of our being. Not a nerve or tissue, valve or vessel of our bodily organization is uncared for. All the littles of our little world are thought upon by the great God. Dear reader, is this precious to you? Then hold to it. Never be led astray by those philosophic fools who preach up an impersonal God and talk of self-existent, self-governing matter. The Lord liveth and thinketh upon us. This is a truth far too precious for us to be lightly robbed of it. The notice of a nobleman is valued so highly that he who has it counts his fortune made. But what is it to be thought of by the king of kings? If the Lord thinketh upon us, all is well, and we may rejoice evermore.